All right, welcome to Chapter 3, Section 2, Part 1, Polynomial Inequalities in One Variable, that we're still working on. Um, now we're going to solve polynomial inequalities using sign analysis. Okay, so we're going to use a sign analysis. This is the same, this is the same sign analysis that we did when we are graphing x cubed and x to the fourth graphs. Okay, it's the same, same exact thing. We're using the same kind of same sign analysis. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do two examples. And hopefully after these two examples, um, these problems will make, will make some sense to you. Okay, so what it says is solve x cubed minus 2x squared minus 3x is less than 0. So what we are trying to figure out is we are trying to figure out where this polynomial is less than 0. So we're going to keep that in mind. Okay, so if your problem is not factored for you, you need to be able to factor it. Okay, so x cubed minus 2x squared minus 3x, I can take an x out. And when I take an x out, what I have left is x squared minus 2x minus 3. That's what I have left over. Okay. So now I'm going to factor my x squared. So I have x and x. What two numbers multiply to be negative 3 and add to a negative 2? Minus 3, positive 1. Okay. And all of this is still less than 0. Okay. So we do this the exact same way that we used to do the graphing. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot my zeros. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plot my zeros. So, and, but this time we're only doing it on the number line. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so plot our zeros. X plus 1 is at negative 1. Let me change the color here. X plus 1 is at negative 1. Make sure you put negative 1 down on your number line. X minus 3 is at positive 3. Okay, now, sorry, I made a mistake here, so hopefully you don't make that the same mistake. If it is a, oops, okay, let me start over. At negative 1, so this is x plus 1, I'm going to put a 0 at negative 1. Now, look at my symbol. It's a less than, so I need to do an open circle. Open circle at negative 1. x minus 3 is an open circle at 3. And what about when it's just x? Remember that? It's at 0. Okay? So we are now going to do our sign analysis. Okay? Using the exact same thing that we did before. Now, give me a number to the, the left of negative 1. Let's just do negative 3. Negative 3 in for x is a negative. Negative 3 take away 3 is negative. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative. 3 negatives is going to equal a negative. So in, on the far left, it's negative. Give me a number between negative 1 and 0. Let's do negative 0.5. Negative 0.5 in for x is negative. Negative 0.5 take away 3 is negative. Negative 0.5 plus 1 is positive. A negative times a negative is a positive. Oops. So this is going to be a positive. Now, give me a number between 0 and 3. Let's just, sorry. Let's just do a number between 0 and 3. We're going to do 1. Okay. Plug in 1 for x, I get a positive. 1 take away 3 is negative. 1 plus 1 is positive. A positive times a negative is a negative. Negative times positive is a negative. So there is negative. And lastly, give me a number to the right of 3. Let's just do 4. 4 in for x is positive. 4 take away 3 is positive. 4 plus 1 is positive. Hopefully you remember that 3 positives equals a positive. All right, so now how we get our answers. I'm going to move all this down. All right, now we have to figure out our answers. What are we looking for? We want to know, we want to know when this polynomial is less than zero. Less than zero. So where's less than zero? The negatives are less than zero. All right, so we want to write the inequalities for where the negatives appear. Okay, so this one right here, it's everywhere to the left of negative one. So it's x is less than negative 1, because these numbers to the left of negative 1 are smaller than negative 1. Okay, so there's my first inequality. Now, the ones that are in between two zeros, notice that this negative sign is in between two zeros. The left zero is 0, so I'm going to write 0. The right zero is 3. I put x in the middle, and your arrows always point towards the left. Okay. So anytime you, if your sign is between two numbers, you put the left number on the left, the right number on the right, you put the x in the middle, and you have two arrows going in both directions. Now read from the x. What does this say? 
this says x is less than 3, that's to the left, and the one on the left says x is greater than 0, that would be to the right, so that is why this negative works. And there are your two answers. So x is less than negative 1, x is less than 3, greater than 0. Okay, hopefully that makes some sense. All right, so example two. We're going to try to do one more, and hopefully after this one it will, it will be a little bit easier for you. Okay, so greater than or equal to zero, that's what we're trying to figure out. X minus four squared, that means that there are two of them. Okay, and now I need to factor X squared minus one. Well, really that's X squared plus zero X minus one. So let's factor that. All right, so x and x. What two numbers multiply to be negative 1 but add to 0? Plus 1, minus 1. Okay, so let's do this exactly the way that we did the graphing on the, on the, on the board. All right, so I'm going to put my number line here. So that's 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so x minus 4 is at positive 4. It is a greater than or equal to symbol, so I need a closed circle. I have two of those. X minus 1 would be at positive 1. Closed circle at positive 1. Make sure you mark 1 on your number line. And then I have an X plus 1, which would be at negative 1, closed circle. Okay, so now let's test our, let's test our units here. Give me a number to the left of negative 1. Negative 2. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative. Negative 2 take away 1 is negative. Negative 2 take away 4. There's two of those, so negative, negative. 4 negatives equals a positive. Give me a number between negative 1 and 1. Let's just do 0. 0 plus 1 is positive. 0 take away 1 is negative. 0 take away 4. 0 take away 4 are both negatives. 3 negatives equals a negative. Give me a number between 1 and 4. Let's try 3. 3 plus 1 is positive. 3 take away 1 is negative. Or sorry, 3 take away 1 is positive. 3 take away 4, negative, negative. A negative times a negative is a positive. Okay, and give me a number to the right of 4. Let's try 5. 5 plus 1 is positive. 5 take away 1 is positive. 5 take away 4 is positive, positive. Now, notice, 4 is a double root. Sign stays the same on the left and the right. That's the same exact information from that last section that when we graphed polynomials. Okay, so we're done with our sign analysis. Let me move these down. I'm not flip them upside down. Move them down. All right, so what do we want to find out? We want to find out where x is greater than or equal to 0. So that would be the positives. Okay, so all the positives. So let's do the one on the left. Negative 1, it's everywhere to the left of negative 1 is positive. So x is less than or equal to negative 1 because I have a closed circle, so I have an equal to sign. It's to the left of negative 1, so those are smaller. So x is less than or equal to negative 1. There's my first answer. This positive is between 1 and 4. 1 goes on the left, 4 goes on the right, x goes in the middle. Arrows point to the left. Make sure you put the lines because they are closed circles. There's my second answer. And now I have a closed circle of 4 and a positive. So x and 4, and you have to determine the direction of your symbol. It's everywhere to the right of 4. So x would be greater than 4 because numbers to the right of 4 are greater than. And there would be my last answer. Okay. So we want to know where it was greater than or equal to 0, so we need the positives. Okay. We will do more tomorrow. Hopefully this makes some sense. This is a little bit of a tricky section because of all the different possibilities of answers. But we will definitely do more in the class tomorrow. Hopefully you understood this a little bit, and hopefully we can, um, we can master this uh, tomorrow. Have a good night. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.